G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm going to show you the perfect way to capture a Hawking's Eye Swarm. I've got to thank Siam Lawson from Mackay who I helped capture this swarm. Now what most people do with a swarm capture is they put out a bait hive. And as you can see in these videos, that's exactly what she did. And you can see what success she had. She first saw the swarm and tried to put out the bait hive, put pollen in it, put natives beeswax out the front, and they didn't take to it. She removed the attacked hive. That didn't work. And that's because the hive's in colonising mode. So what did she do? She tried to put the attacked hive back again, but they're no longer attacking it. Again, failure. And as you can see here, the bees are interested, but they're in colonising mode. They're looking around for a new home. They see this home, but they're not fussy. I'm oh, sorry, they are fussy. They're going to look around for other homes. What you've got to do to get a swarm and capture it is convert them from colonising swarm to an attacking swarm to get them into a frenzy that they suddenly have to have this home. So to do that we're going to show you the proper way of doing it the next day. What you will need is a bait hive, some native beeswax, some pollen stores if possible, a way of screening off the entry is also very important because without that you won't trick the bees. So let's look what should happen very first thing in the morning. Here we go. The hive is under attack, but we don't jump yet. It's still too early. There's not enough bees around the front. They are attacking, but they're not in full attack mode. They're curious. They're around there. See the numbers there. But we've all set up. The bait box has got pollen in it. And you can see the swarm around there. It's all They're all swarming around. They're interested, but they're not attacking yet. So we're ready to seal up this hive, but we've got to wait. The swarm is about. They're interested. The bait box is all set up. We're ready to go, but they're not in attack mode. They're still in colonising mode, but they're interested. Now it's full on attack. Look at the numbers round the front. Look at the bees swarming around the front. This hive, oh sorry, swarm has gone from colonising to attack mode. So now's the time to act. You can see just the sheer numbers have moved in. They're scenting up the front ready for an attack. And this is what you do next. You seal the hive. You seal it up so that the bees, you're protecting the bees on the inside, but you're driving the bees on the outside into a frenzy. They're scenting it up and attacking. And when they're at that stage, you leave it sealed for in that position for about an hour, then swap it over. And see what we've done there? We've swapped it over, and now the bees are in such a frenzy, they're just going straight into that hive. We leave the other hive there for a while because there's a scent of attack, attack, attack on that blue hive at the top. We leave it there for a while, about a half an hour to an hour, until they're really into that hive. And once they're into the bottom hive, you've got to remove the attack hive because it's just got the scent of attack, attack. They've now occupied the bottom hive, the bait hive, so you've got to remove the top hive. Notice there's a hive right next to this hive. It's not being touched. It's okay. And you just now watch and see whether they've come in. By removing the blue attack hive, all the scent of attack is gone, and now the scent is we're occupied. And as you can see in this entry now, they are really moving in. It's occupation now. They're happy and they're moving in in droves. By lunchtime, this started about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. So by lunchtime, you can see it's all virtually died down. Still bees swarming around. 
but the majority have moved in and you can see bees moving in and out not eating any of the beeswax at the moment no don't need that yet they're just making sure this is their home and they're happy with it they think they've conquered this hive they actually think they've conquered it it's full of stores so they think to themselves this is a good hive so now they've gone from attack mode to colonizing mode again they've actually changed their mind and said right we're now happy with this hive doesn't mean they might still look around but they're pretty happy with this so let's go a bit later in the afternoon you can see the damage done in the early attack but we've saved the attacked hive as you can see now the activity at the front has dropped right away it's showing that these bees have accepted this hive. The swarming's died right down to a dull roar, so that's good. Uh, we'll just slide this down a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, then, that's me playing on the computer. So you can see here the hive is now perfectly calm. There's bees around, but there's no more attacking going on. No more real serious swarming. The bees have taken to this. And so finally we can look again mid afternoon to late afternoon bees are happily buzzing in and out now there's a bit more activity because more bees are coming in probably from the mother hive where this swarm came from they've gone back to the hive told their mother hive we found a home and so by late afternoon this is what you see about four or five o'clock just everybody's happy it's almost like a normal hive the swarm's been captured so there you go. This way, if you do it this way, you capture the swarm. Hanging on to it, another matter altogether.